Good evening, everybody. This is Daniel with Vantage Point. Thank you for joining. Just want to do a quick sound check. We're going to get started here right at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but before we do, if you could make your way over to the comments box or the questions box and let me know that you could hear me okay and I'm coming through your speakers loud and clear. Uh, I want to make sure before we kick things off here at 8 that we've got uh, full functionality. Callie, thank you. I see that you can hear me and uh, Chris, loud and clear. Pete, all good. All right. I appreciate that. Uh, we'll get going here in about 13 minutes. Um, you should see some slides that are playing on the screen. There's no background music or anything like that. We just want to let you know you're, we're here. Make sure you can see the screen. Make sure you can hear my voice. And we'll get going here shortly. Thank you for attending.
Good evening, everybody. I got 7.53 p.m. Just wanted to uh, check in for the moment. I changed the screen. You should now see Vantage Point celebrating 40 years of empowering traders. I uh, want to make sure the screen's up and running and you can hear me okay. There's a lot of people joining the room here. There was thousands of people interested in this, this live training session. So we're going to give them a chance to get joined. But for those of you that are here now, please uh, let me know that you can still see my screen and it does say Vantage Point on it. Uh, I haven't changed anything with my mic, so you should hear me okay. And we're going to get going here in uh, just about seven minutes. Kelly, thank you for uh, keeping in contact. John, Tom, good. Good, so everything's okay on your side. You guys can hear me and see me okay. As I said, we've got uh, a lot of people joining the room right now. Hopefully, uh, everybody can get in before this thing sells out. Uh, but we'll give it about... Uh, probably four or five more minutes and then we'll get things kicked off. Again, you're here to learn how to anticipate market movements one to three days in advance with artificial intelligence sponsored by Vantage Point. So we'll be back to you in a second.
All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining. As I said, we're gonna start promptly at 8 p.m. I've got 7.59 p.m. Wanna make sure we get some logistical things out of the way. If you've never uh, participated in a go-to webinar before, I wanna make sure everybody understands that we are all muted. We don't want any background noise or echo or anything like that. So I'm gonna look for your interaction in the questions box. So I wanna run through how to get to the questions box. If you've just joined uh, the, the lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to anticipate market movements one to three days in advance with artificial intelligence. My name is Daniel, I'm with Vantage Point Software. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay and you can see my screen okay. If you can't or you don't know where that questions box is, let me show you exactly how to get to that. If you look at your screen right now, you should be able to see where, if you're on GoToWebinar, the desktop version, there's a little control panel. It's got an orange rectangle with a white arrow in it. You can click on that to get to the control panel so that you can use that questions box to, to put comments and ask questions throughout this event. It's an interactive event. This is not recorded. This is live. So uh, I'll be looking you know, for you to use that questions box as often as possible. If you're on the web-based version of GoToWebinar, uh, this is what it looks like. There is a, a little chat bubble with a question mark in it. You can click on that to ask questions or make comments in that box. And then finally, for those of you that are on mobile apps, uh, if you're on an Android, uh, there's uh, you might have to double tap your screen until you can see that, that circle with the question mark in it uh, so that you can use the questions box. And if you're on an Apple, there's a, a question mark at the top of the screen where you can get to it. So John, you, uh, you got it on web, good. Good, for anybody else that just found the questions box, just give me a little message, let me know that you found it, you're there, and uh, you're ready to learn about uh, anticipating market movements one to three days in advance, like like John and Ivy. Uh, James said everything was okay on your side. I've already talked with John and Tom and Pete. I will be calling you out by first name uh, so that you know that I'm talking to you. I won't be using last names. I realize this is the internet, you know, but I do want to. I do want you to know that I'm here and I'm listening to you and we'll, we'll dig into the details. <laughs> Gilbert, I love it. I, Gil, Gilbert, we'll get to that. Absolutely, we'll get to that. I think you guys will really appreciate this. As I said, my name is Daniel and I wanna thank all of you, first of all, for giving me, as you know, your most precious commodity, your time, right? It's, it's one of the only things, it's the only thing you can never get back. And I promise you'll be glad, to cho that you, you'll be glad that you chose to share the next hour or so with me. Right. Some people may even say spending the time has changed their life. Right. But what if I told you that we had a software tool that could predict price movements of a stock over the next one to three days? What could you do with that information? Right. I mean, what if I told you if it was up to 86 percent accurate? All right. It's pretty exciting. How many of you would like me to prove those claims to you over the next hour? If you could use the questions box. Let me know that that's something you want me to focus on because I will do that. I'll spend the time during this live lesson to prove exactly what I said, that this artificial intelligence has the ability to forecast one to three days in advance with up to 86% accuracy. Yeah, Eric says, yes, of course, yes, absolutely. You could definitely use that information. Pete says, enlighten me. <laughs> I love it, Pete. Hopefully you've got a, a good sense of humor to go along with that, Reg, yes. Yes, from, from Callie. Hopefully, Callie, I'm saying that right. It's not Kaylee. It looks like it should be Callie. So I appreciate that. Good. Good. Then we're all here. And we're going to learn about the artificial intelligence. Mark, thank you. I see you're interested in that. Actually, let me take a second. Let me show it to you really quickly. And then we'll dig into the details. Look at your screen right now. I've brought up the artificial intelligence. And you can see it's not intimidating, right? It's not scary. It's Green up, red down. We'll dig into the details, but there's actually predictive indicators on these charts. We're going to dig into that into some detail, but first, let's make sure we're all on the same page. Today, we're going to talk about trading, right? Trading comes with a certain level of risk. You don't want to trade with money that you can't afford to lose. I mean, that's why they call it risk capital after all. Good money management, capital management is key to being a successful trader, a successful investor. So as long as we're on the same page, let's get this thing going. Because I don't want to spend a whole a whole lot of time on this. I plan on spending about 60 minutes here with you. I get passionate and excited about this. Um, so sometimes I run over. I apologize if that's the case. But 
this this time is designed to help you see the power of artificial intelligence in your trades. This is the same artificial intelligence that you use in your everyday life. And we're going to talk about that. All right, we're going to dig into the details. And, and you know, let me get one thing out of the way so you don't have to ask. Um, this AI works in every asset class that, that, that you can trade. What I mean is futures and commodities, uh, stocks, ETFs, cryptocurrencies, what else, cannabis stocks, foreign exchange. It works in all those asset classes, so you don't have to ask. It, it can work in those areas as well. Just realize, even though it works in all those asset classes, it may not be for everybody. It may not be for you. I've just learned that in my time, successful people do what unsuccessful people can't do or they're not willing to do. And I, and I commend you on being here to find that out. I won't take your time for granted, as I promised. Um, you got busy lives. You got busy schedules. And I'm going to give you everything I have in a short amount of time as possible. So... Let me just take a couple minutes here. I don't want to spend too too much time on this, but let me give you a little background on who I am so you know who, who's talking to you through the speaker. My name is Daniel. I'm like a lot of you. I'm a father, husband. Uh, I've got an extensive corporate background. Um, you know, I've got 22 years experience in the financial markets, and I'm also an international speaker and AI trading mentor and coach. You can see from the pictures uh, the reason I'm here. That's my family. Yes, there are three girls in my house, so you can imagine how enlightening or inspiring some days are around my house, to say the least. <laughs> well, I've since retired from corporate America, and all I do now is help traders make more money in the financial markets with artificial intelligence. I hold live seminars and webinars domestically and internationally. Let me tell you one thing. <laughs> Going from working for major corporations to doing what I do now, teaching people to use artificial intelligence and make more money in the financial markets, it's way more fulfilling what I do now. I did realize some things, I learned some things in corporate America. I realized that the effectiveness of the organization is dependent on the tools that the employees are provided to do the job. And I'm sure you'd agree with me, it makes sense, right? It doesn't matter the industry. If you dig ditches, using a backhoe is better than a shovel. If you're an architect, using AutoCAD is more effective than graph paper and a ruler and a pencil, you get the point. Right? I realized long ago that I could apply that same lesson to trading, and that's when I took action because I was always taught that if you want to be more successful, be an action taker. Be a doer, not just a thinker, and that's what I did, and the markets have rewarded me for doing that. All right. And after you do this long enough, you start to realize there's certain tools out there that are more effective than others. I'm sure you'd agree with that. There's different strategies. There's different systems. We are going to be talking about a tool here. That's where Vantage Point comes into the picture. And I'm going to go through this detail as much as I can from a tool standpoint. Uh, but first, before we do that, I'd like to get to know who we have on the call. So I've got a couple questions for you. Please use the, the questions box or the chat box to, to answer these questions. It's like a survey, all right? On a scale of 1 to 10, as far as trading knowledge goes, where would you rate your trading knowledge? One being you're a novice, you're new to the markets, maybe you've placed some trades, maybe you haven't, but you're new. Um, 10 being, you know what, you're an expert, maybe you make a half a million dollars a year in the markets and it's easy, you're just looking for an additional edge, right? Where do you fall on that scale? So Dennis is at a, as a eight, we got Ray at a six, Don five, we got two, three, Ed uh, looks like eight, they're coming in pretty fast. Kent, thank you for the accuracy there, 6.5. David says a 7.5, very specific, good. One, three, three, one, five, three, three, uh, five. Guys, go ahead and keep using the questions box. I'm catching them as they come through. James says an eight, Reg says a five, good. Dave, six, uh, Henderson, nine, good. Good, okay, so they're still coming in. Jeez, thank you guys, keep, keep them coming. It helps me understand who we have on the call. Nirmal at a six. So it looks like we got two, three, three, uh, Don's at a seven. So it looks like we probably fall, if I average it all out, probably right at the five, right? Four or five, somewhere in that range. Good. Good. I appreciate that feedback. That helps me understand, you know, what level that I can deliver this information in, right? All right. Next question on the survey. <laughs> what uh, what asset class are you primarily trading? Right? Are you Are you trading stocks? Maybe you're doing options on stocks. Get a lot of users that that enjoy using options and use Vantage Point for that. Uh, currencies or or uh, okay, options, stocks, options, options, options. 
uh, stocks and options, uh, equities, the ES, good. We'll try to take a look at that. We got futures, options, credit spreads, so another options person. Haven't decided yet. All right, Sky, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. Um, stocks, stocks, Forex, um, options, stocks and indices, precious metal stocks, good. Glad to hear that. Uh, Forex futures, good. Well, that's good to know. I, it looks like, uh, from what I can tell, we got a majority of stock traders, some futures, some some currencies. Uh, the good news is the AI works in all those asset classes, and that helps me kind of understand who we have on the call, where to where to spend as much time as I can. Um, you know, and that's the, really the key that you you came to get some information. And I want to make sure I give you the information that you need to be successful. And again, you don't have to ask, it'll work in all of those asset classes. And if you're here, it's probably because you haven't found anything that can give you accurate information, holistic information that you need to make more intelligent trades, right? That makes sense, right? Trading isn't a guessing game. So I'm glad you're here. One last question, one last question. If, if there was one thing that you could fix with your trading, what would it be? I mean, we all know that there's a lot of money to be made in the markets, and I'm not here to convince you to trade more or less. But if you could fix one thing to make more money, what would it be? Is it entries, right? Or are you late on your entries? When you look back, you realize there was more money to be made. Had you found that sooner? Or maybe it's exits, right? Exits, that's probably the most stressful, right? You think it's going to keep going in your favor, and then it reverses out of nowhere, takes your profits, right? Turns it into a loser. That's frustrating because you had it right. Or the other side, you get out too soon, right? Thinking it's going to reverse and it doesn't. You get out, you take your profits, which is great, right? You're not going to lose money taking a profit, but the darn thing takes off in your favor and you're on the sideline. How frustrating is that, right? So David says entries, entries, uh, not <laughs> Pete, not losing money, good. Exits, timing to buy and sell less, yeah. So both entries and exits, everything. Uh, Kent, you want one of those magic eight balls that you shake and it picks the winner? <laughs> Probably won't win as much as 80% uh, accurate like what we're talking about today, but we'll get to that. Ed says exits, exits for, for Cali. Um, Sky, you want a proven strategy? Good. Uh, good, good. So what about uh, finding opportunities, right? <laughs> John, magic eight ball again. What about finding opportunities? If you could find better opportunities to trade. Would that help you make more money? Or stop losses. Maybe your problem is managing risk and knowing where to set more effective stop losses. Is that something that you can use to be more successful? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. From what I can tell in the comments, and thank you everybody for giving me that feedback, and you can keep it coming. I, I'll, I'll read them as they come through. And if you have a question, by all means, please ask a question. And if I don't if I don't catch it, you can always uh, leave me your phone number, and I'll give you a call afterwards and ask your answer your question for you if I can. But from what I can tell, it seems like timing is the biggest issue. Finding the right opportunities, knowing when to get in, knowing when to get out. Right? That's that's really the key. Finding future setups. Good. We're all on the same page here. That's what I'm going to spend my time on today, so that we we can help you fix those timing problems because. After all, we know in trading, there's always a winner, there's always a loser, right? If you could just get on the right side of the trades and win more often, or make your winners bigger than your losers more often, you'd be in a better situation. And that's what I'm going to focus on. Well, I can tell you in my uh, my 22 years of experience in the financial markets, uh, and, I can, and I've had a lot of the problems that you're experiencing in the past and been able to cut them out, and I'll tell you how. But first, let's get on the same page. Look at the screen right now. Do these look familiar to you? I like to call them the usual suspects. These technical indicators, do you use them? Have you used them? If you have, let me know which ones you use. There's what, support and resistance, Fibonacci. We got moving averages up there, Bollinger Bands. Heck, I think Bollinger Bands is the the probably the, the most recent indicator up there. And those were created, what, in the 70s. Maybe you're using RSI, MACD, Stochastics. Chris, I hope you're not guessing like you said you are because that's trouble. It's not a guessing game, that's for sure. Dennis says all of them, um, John moving averages, all of them for Cali, MACD, okay? All of them, moving averages are your favorite, Bob. What are you using, like a, a, a 50 over a 20 or a 100 over a 50 from a moving average standpoint? David, you're using uh, candlestick patterns and formations. 
Don, all of the above. Okay, so it seems like the people on this call have experience with these technical. <laughs> yeah, somebody just said, uh, and I agree, somebody just said uh, they lag the market. Well, look at the screen. That's what I wanted to say is that these indicators are lagging price indicators, right? You could look at a, a, a tick chart, a real time chart. It still shows you what happened a second ago, it's not predicting anything. A four hour chart, a one hour chart, end of day, day, it doesn't matter. Those indicators are lagging price indicators. The formulas and the calculations are made up of lagging information. Let's call it what it is, right? And so what we end up doing as traders is we end up layering them on our charts, trying to infer what that stock or that market is expected to do. And it looks like this. I know it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but bear with me. You see it. Can't even Ichimoku. If you read the what Ichimoku does and how it works, it says it is not predictive. It doesn't have predictive information in the calculation. So when we layer all these charts, all these indicators on our chart, we end up getting paralysis analysis or analysis paralysis, whatever they call it. And we look like Charles, this guy in the picture, hands thrown up, not knowing what to do, right? You've been there. I've been there. You don't want to be there anymore. And that's why you're here. I appreciate that. Here's the thing. It's not that you're not intelligent, right? It's not that most traders are unintelligent, but rather you're not using tools that forecast the market, right? You're using tools that lag the market. And that's the problem. We're going to talk about that some today, but what makes us here at Vantage Point an expert at this? I know you have that question and it makes sense. It's a good question. But as you go through the rest of this lesson, I want you to ask yourself that same question is what I'm saying doesn't make sense. Right. Is what I'm saying. Can you can you see it? Can you apply it? Does it make sense to you? And it will. But I want you to ask that every few minutes so that we're on the same page. Right. So here's Vantage Point. Here's what Vantage Point is. This is who we are. We've been helping traders like you since 1979. We've been creating software now for 40 years, 40 years. Now, almost 30 of those years have been dedicated to artificial intelligence. And I don't care who you are. If you've been in the same industry doing the same thing for 40 years, you've got to be doing something right, something that works. And clearly, clearly we have. We've been utilizing artificial intelligence since 1991. It's a long time. And if you look at some of the things on the screen, you can see as an organization, We've been rated 30 most innovative companies, most innovative AI trading software company, most trusted software solution provider, even best company to work for. Fortune Magazine just rated us nationally one of the top small businesses. It's just remarkable what we've been able to do as an organization with one thing in mind. And bear with me because this is important. We empower traders daily. And I realize that's a loaded statement, but that's what we do. That's what we focus our energy on. That's what we've been doing for a long, long time. And it's it's thanks to a couple of gentlemen that I've got on the screen right now. This is Lewis Mendelson and Lane Mendelson. You guys should see their pictures on the screen. Lewis Mendelson's our founder. He studied at Carnegie Mellon. He's a Carnegie Mellon alumnus, which a lot of you know is probably one of the birthplaces of artificial intelligence, unless, of course, you went to MIT right? Then you would say that's the case. But Lewis Mendelssohn was the first person to make backtesting available to the public on a personal computer. He moved away from that for artificial intelligence because of the, the power of AI. In the bottom left corner is our president. That is his son, Lane Mendelssohn, right? And you can see he's been interviewed by, uh, that's Kevin Harrington, Shark Tank guy, uh, Fox Business has had him out. Yahoo Finance. I mean, it's just, it's remarkable. These gentlemen have been all over these major publications because of what, they, what they've been able to do for traders like you with artificial intelligence, right? Lane's a second generation phenom. It's kind of like this. If you think about it like this, Steve Jobs, you know, before he passed away, may he rest in peace, but if he had a son that he was able to teach Apple to and groom him on Apple, and then when Apple was ready and his son was ready, pass the reins over to his son, that would create even more credibility, even more longevity. And that's what we're talking about here. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, and, and Lane being a second generation phenom, it's been remarkable what he's been able to do with artificial intelligence. Let me give you an example. If you look at the screen really quickly, you can see where this is, uh, the backdrop is uh, Tampa. You know, it's uh, 5.30 in the morning on a Monday morning and Fox Business had him out asking what the AI was saying. And this is remarkable, guys. I. He went on TV, live TV at 5.30 in the morning on Monday morning and said the AI is predicting a bullish trend. Well, that was Monday. Guess what happened? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every single day the market just rallied and it ran up 
and he was on live TV talking about it. That's probably why he got one of the, the top 10 most influential artificial intelligence executives in 2019 because of his abilities within the financial markets and what he's been able to do. Now, I can tell you one of the things that I do, and I'm going to get to the nitty gritty. I'm going to get into the software here in a second, but I think it's important that you understand where we came from and what we've been able to do so that you understand that there's real credibility here because I do a lot of demonstrations of the software and people always ask and say, hey, Daniel, does it really work as well as you say it does? Is it able to forecast? And I, you know, I, I tend to think that if you want to know the answer to that, you should ask the people that are using the software. So let me show you that. I want to, let's do that really quick. Let's do a, let's go down a little rabbit trail for a second here, because I think it's important that you understand not only has it proven to work, but the users say it. Look, Russell, right in the middle of your screen. Thanks to Vantage Point, I've been able to pay for all four years of college for all four of my grandchildren, right? Jeff on the left says, I've paid off my mortgage and car. And you can see there's review after review on this page. I love some of these reviews. I mean, there's a lot of options traders on here, A options traders. If you look at this, there's, there's remarkable numbers. Look, Scott, in the bottom left corner, I can tell you two options trades that yielded 1,400% on one and another that's over 500% gain that I remain in increase the value of one portfolio over 40% in a month. You guys see that? Oh, I'm getting, it looks like I'm getting some feedback. Somebody says I'm cutting out every few seconds. Everybody that's on this call, if you could hear me okay, and I'm not cutting out, um, give me some feedback in the questions box because if I am cutting out, I'll see if I can make any adjustments on this side because this is important stuff. Uh, okay, D, it's fine, fine here, great. Okay, thank you guys, I appreciate that. I got worried for a second. If I'm cutting out for you, it might just be a, a speaker issue. But I think if you look at the screen, you can see that there's a lot of users. I mean, TJ says, I'm consistently making 14 to 17% a week on money invested, right? Who wouldn't wanna turn those kind of numbers? Anyway, I could do this for days. I mean, there's review after review on the site. I just wanted to show you what people that use the software actually say about the software, actually say about the technology and whether or not it works. All right, good. Audio is good and we're rolling. So let's do this. Let's jump into the software really quickly. I wanna jump back into the software and show you how easy it is to use this technology, but more importantly, how effective it is, okay? Let me make this easy to interpret. First of all, let's make this familiar. Let me get some of these indicators off the screen, all right? I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm gonna take this off and then lower this window. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to see that there's nothing to be intimidated by. This software is very, very easy to interpret. What we're looking at is a candlestick chart for Phillips 66. You guys can see all that. Each candle on the screen is one trading day. It is end of day data, right? Guys, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna shift gears here. We're gonna dig into the software. Let me just get a drink really quick here. This is a live event, as you can tell, I do a lot of talking, so I may do that, may do that here and there. All right, look at your screen and go to the left-hand side of the screen. Here's the asset classes, and as I said, it covers futures, Forex, ETFs, there's over a thousand US stocks, Canadian stocks, cryptocurrencies, and you can see the menu across the top works just like a Windows program. This is Windows based. So you want to have Windows on your Mac or you want to be on a PC to use this software. It's a Windows based program. But why I wanted to show you this is because I've used so many programs in my lifetime. I'm sure you have as well. Maybe even your platform that are really complicated. So many things to click and move that you just don't know. Sometimes you think the developer wanted to make it more complicated than effective. The Mendelssohn's, that's not the case. They followed that, that idea. I think it was uh, Steve Jobs that says the difficulty is making something simple. They've taken something complex here. The Mendelssohn's have like artificial intelligence and made it extremely simple to interpret, simple to use. And I think you guys can see that because you understand you can make a lot of money in the markets and it doesn't matter. You can trade small, you can trade big. It doesn't matter how you trade. If you have the right tool, if you have the right information, you can be very, very successful. This is a tool set. Right. I'm not here to get you pumped up about something that it's not. This is a tool set that requires you to develop some skills to use it effectively. And we train you on that here at Vantage Point. We give you all the information you need to be successful. Right. And don't forget, you don't have to be scared by artificial intelligence. Some of you may be maybe you think about Terminator. Right. And I get it. We'll talk about that. But I believe that as you go through the rest of this presentation and this this webinar, that you ask yourself that question, whether or not this makes sense. I believe the answer is going to be yes. I believe, as a matter of fact, that if you could grasp this on your own, you're well on your way to creating what I would consider 
real financial freedom, financial independence, which my definition of that is very simple, right? Being able to control your life. You don't have to be a multimillionaire, right? A lot of people think you have to be, and there's a lot of multimillionaire traders, believe me, I know. What if you could just get to the point where you're making a hundred or hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more a year from your trading, right? You get to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want. That's financial freedom, right? Is that fair? Right? I'll just say this. We're so confident that this tool will increase your trading success. We believe that if you can't gain an advantage with this software, then maybe you're at a point where you may not be able to gain an advantage at all, right? And I get that's pretty bold. Again, I like to be bold, but I, I plan on backing that up and digging into the software into some detail so you can understand exactly how it works. But because this is all based in artificial intelligence. So let's talk about artificial intelligence for a second, okay? Because right now you interact with AI in your daily lives, right? Look at your screen. Who's got an iPhone on this call, right? Who's got an Android device? If you've got one of those cell phones, which is everybody, you're using artificial intelligence day in and day out. You're relying on it. When you send an email in Gmail, it finishes your sentence. When you Google search something, it finishes your search for you. That is artificial intelligence. That is machine learning. And that's what we're talking about today. Maybe you've got a Tesla and you know it drives itself. You know, my Mercedes will beep and, and make noise until I stop. If there's a car in front of me, stop. And if I don't stop, it'll stop for me, right? That's the kind of technology we're talking about here. And I'm in Florida and in Florida, skin cancer is really, really big. So they're even using AI to take pictures of cancerous skin. They load millions and millions of pictures of, of cancerous skin into a database. And then they use that database to detect cancer years ahead of the best oncologists. We're talking about life changing or excuse me, life saving technology there in that case. What we're talking about here with Vantage Point and, and artificial intelligence, life changing technology when it comes to your financial future. All right. Look at the screen again. There's the Nest thermometer. How many of you have a Nest or you know Nest, right? Did you realize that Google bought Nest thermometers for three billion dollars in cash? It wasn't to keep their offices the same temperature year round, right? It was because of the neural network technology, because of the machine learning that that, that technology had. So they bought Nest thermometers because Nest could determine if the temperature in your home needed to go up or down before the temperature actually changed, it, changed by, by analyzing the patterns in your home. See, that's what we're talking about, advanced pattern recognition. Well, think about that. If Nest can do that for air, do you think AI can do that in the markets? Because I think it does, I think it can, I know it can, and I think by the end of this presentation, you will as well, all right? So let's take a second to shift gears and talk about how the artificial intelligence that we're using can, can detect market movements one to three days in your van, in advance, right? Look at the screen, because this is important. I just put up two, two charts on the screen, the NASDAQ and Amazon, you should be able to see them clearly. If I draw a blue line on the NASDAQ, and this, guys, for those of you that are taking notes, this is key. This is a golden nugget. It's called intermarket analysis, global market analysis, and it's how we're utilizing artificial intelligence to project market movements. I drew a blue line on the NASDAQ just to, just to illustrate that it ended higher than it began. You should be able to see that pretty well. If I move that blue line down to Amazon, you can see it took the same track at the same time. But what does that mean, right? Well, I'll tell you. It means that these have a parallel relationship. When one goes up, the other goes up. When one goes down, the other goes down, right? It's very clear to see. So now you know if you like to buy options on Amazon, you should go see what NASDAQ is doing first or vice versa. You know that there is a parallel relationship. You should use that information to garner some extra confidence. And guys, real quick, you don't have to do it with artificial intelligence. In this case, I'm looking at one market and comparing it to another. Right, that's like a free golden nugget that you can use from this point forward to increase your confidence and reduce the emotion with your trading decisions on your entries, your exits, all those things that you said you're struggling with. Okay, here's another one with a little more volatility, right? XLF and Bank of America. If I drew that blue line on here again, you can see that there was more volatility, but if I move that down to Bank of America, it took the same track at the same time. Why is that the case? Well, you know it, they have a parallel relationship. When one goes up, the other goes up and vice versa. So before you go trade Bank of America, it just makes sense now that you go see what the financial sector ETF is doing, again, to give you that extra information about the potential trend for that, that market or that stock. This is valuable information that you can use day in and day out, right? Just remember not, that not all relationships are parallel relationships. Some of them are inverse relationships like this one. 
the uh, the uh, S and P 500 in gold, right? You can see that when one goes up, the other goes down. They have a very clear inverse relationship. Well, that's important to know as well because not all relationships are parallel, not all of them are inverse. And get this, you can look at the two charts and see that there's not a it's not a one to one ratio. Like when one goes up one tick, the other doesn't go down one tick. It impacts the other market in different ways, different times of the year, right? Well, now, now we're getting into an area that's humanly impossible, right? How do you figure out which markets are influencing what, which ones are parallel, which ones are inverse, and what's the degree of impact? And that's the real key here. It's impossible for me to do it. It's impossible for you to do it without technology like artificial intelligence because some of those relationships are surface-level relationships that you can see with the naked eye. Some of those are impossible to see. We're talking about linear and nonlinear relationships. It's kind of like an iceberg. Right. If you picture an iceberg, you can see the tip of the iceberg sticking out above the water. Right. That's what you can see with the naked eye. Maybe it's 15 percent of the iceberg. The rest of the ice is below the water line. You can't see it without sonar or special cameras. It takes special equipment, special technology to see the majority of the iceberg. Well, if you agree with me that the markets are global and interconnected, you know those relationships are there. They're impacting what you're trying to trade every single day. You just don't have the technology to use that to your advantage. And you will with artificial intelligence. Here, let me show you what I mean. Let me go back to the software. And guys, just so you know, I've got um, I've got Philips 66 up. I've got the E-mini S&P up. If you want to use that questions box or the chat box and send in uh, a market name or a ticker symbol or something that you want me to pull up, I'd be happy to pull it up. I don't. I won't have a lot of time because we want to keep this to an hour. But I'd be happy to pull up a market or two that we can. I'll just use this search box over here. Somebody has sent in. Uh, what is that? Neuro. Neuro. Let me see. N e u r. Oh, neurocrine biosciences. So that's a, a biotech stock, right? Somebody says Las Vegas Sands. Is that right? There we go. L v s. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, Boeing. Who doesn't love Boeing, right? We'll take a look at that one. We'll start here for the second. And make sure that we've got um, all the information. If we have more time at the end, we'll dig into more of these markets. And I promised you that I'd give you the one market that we expect to have a, a major move over 30%. I'll do that at the end as well. But first of all, let's dig into what we were talking about earlier, that intermarket analysis. All right. I'm going to go over here to the open views and I'm simply going to click on Phillips 66. That's what we're looking at. And I'm going to open the properties. Now, if you look at this, this is important. See, the artificial intelligence has gone out and scanned all the 10,000 markets around the world to figure out what is influencing this stock, right? What is driving it up? What's driving it down? It's figured all of that out. Then it's stack ranked those. Look at this list. You can see for Philips 66, you would expect the energy sector spider, XLE, right? You would expect that that's kind of one of those surface level relationships that you'd believe is there. It's there, right? You can see there's oil and gas ETF, DIG. Right, you can see there's a forex pair. Look at this, the U.S. dollar and the the Brazilian real. That is influencing the price of Philips 66 in this case. And you could keep running through this list. Look, euro, the yen, the dollar. Well, those are major world currencies. You would expect those to have some sort of influence on this stock, wouldn't you? I would. Right, the Dow, the S&P, interest rates, gold. Right, we already talked about gold having some sort of impact there. Holly Frontier, Valero Energy. It's probably a competitor. Right, but Columbia Sportswear, that's a stock in the consumer cyclical sector. What does that have? How is that influencing Philips 66? I don't know, but here's what I do know the artificial intelligence has been able to analyze millions of data points. We're talking about the open, the high, the low, the close, the volume, the open interest for all of these markets and figured out which ones have the biggest impact on Philips 66. And it's come up with this list right here Sun Opta. World Fuel Services, CVS, O'Reilly Automotive, right? Some of them make sense to you and me as humans, right? But the artificial intelligence isn't emotional. It's figured this out by looking at the data points, all right? Not only did it figure out which markets are influencing this stock, but it's figured out which ones are driving the stock price up, which ones are pulling it down, which ones push it sideways. And all of these markets are weighted by degree of impact. Now think about that. The degree of impact, how much these markets are influencing Philips 66. Guys, that kind of analysis is humanly impossible and it's just remarkable, remarkable that it can be done. 
And the artificial intelligence processes, intermarket analysis is patented technology. There's nobody in the world doing analysis like this. And we agreed, nobody disagreed with me when I said the markets were global and they're connected. Well, the tools that you're using, those indicators that we talked about, not only are they lagging price indicators, but they only look at your stock in single isolation or the market or the ES that you're looking at in isolation by not considering any of the factors that are influencing that stock. So you've got blinders on when you're looking to trade and that's why you've got those timing problems on your entries and your exits because what Vantage Point is doing is it's using this global market analysis to gen, then create predictive indicators that have the ability to predict trend direction one to three days in advance. So let's dig into that next. But before I do, let me let me ask you, are there any questions on the intermarket analysis? Can you see how doing this kind of analysis just makes sense, right? It makes sense. You get that. And if you had this information, do you think it'd give you more reliable information about your trades? Yeah. Exactly. Eric says, yes. David says, absolutely. If you can see that this would already give you a leg up, give me some feedback and let me know that that's the case because this is what your tools are missing today. And it doesn't have to be the case. Remember, trading is not a guessing game. You got to give yourself an advantage. All right, good. So everybody's on the same page here. Let me clear this off the screen. Let's talk about and, and realize this. And, and I do realize this, by the way, I haven't given you anything actionable yet. Right. I popped the hood on the Ferrari. Right? I haven't handed you the keys. I'll do that in a second. I wanna show you first how that engine works and why it's so powerful. And now let's dig into those predictive indicators because what the artificial intelligence is able to do is transform standard indicators into predictive indicators by doing this global market analysis. Let me show you what I mean. Let's pop back to this really quickly because there are several predictive indicators that we are going to run through, seven in fact. Let me show you what I mean. They're, they make up the four points of confirmation I'm going to review right now. If you look at your screen and look in the top right corner, you should see a blue line and a, and a black line crossing with a green and a red shaded area. This is the predicted moving average, all right? Predicted moving average. Let me tell you how it's different because I know a lot of you are looking at moving averages and other technical indicators. If you look at the screen right now, here's the calculation in the middle of the screen for a simple moving average. You've seen this, you know this, right? It adds up 10 days, divides by 10, plots that on the chart. Nothing special there. But if you take that calculation and then like in vantage point, it's able to do that intermarket analysis. It can then predict one to three days in advance. So you take that simple moving average calculation and you add three days of predictive unknown data to that calculation. Look, here it is. One two, three days of predicted price, all right? And then once you divide that by 10 and plot it on the chart, now what you get is a predicted moving average that actually has predictive information in the calculation, right? So think about that. If you can now have a predicted moving average as predictive information in the calculation, similar to Nest, it can analyze those patterns and relationships and then tell you when the trend is expected to go up before it actually makes the move. Okay, you guys can see that. Hardy, you're asking, how does it differ from the cloud? The Ichimoku cloud has no predictive information in the actual formula, in the actual calculation. It's only past price data. So you have to infer from that what's expected to happen. And I'm very familiar with reading the Cinco line and how Ichimoku works, but I can assure you there's no predictive information in that, and that's why it's so different. Plus, Remember, just like Bollinger Bands and all those other indicators we talked about, Ichimoku is only looking at that stock in single isolation. It is not doing that global market analysis. So hopefully you can see, I uh, thank you, Hardy. You can see the difference now. Perfect. We're on the same page. All right. The next predictive indicator is called the predicted neural index. It's in the bottom left corner of your screen, right? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I appreciate that. Bottom left corner of your screen, the neural index is either red or green. You guys can see that, right? If it's green, the predicted neural index is saying short-term strength. If it's red, the PNI is saying short-term weakness, right? That's predictive information because remember that calculation, the intermarket analysis has been done in advance and then that information has been used to predict strength and weakness, all right? And I'm giving these to you in a specific sequence, guys. So those of you that are taking notes, please remember the crossover is first, the predicted neural is second. And then third is something we call the predictive differences. In the top left corner of your screen, you should see a pink line, an aqua line, and a navy blue line, all right? That, that aqua line is a one-day predictive momentum indicator. The pink is a two, and the, and the navy blue is a three-day pre predicted momentum. And that's right. That's what I said. It's able to predict whether momentum is moving in 
or out of this stock in advance one, two, and three days? Well, think about that. If you've got a trend predictor, you've got a strength predictor and a momentum predictor generated by global market analysis and the artificial intelligence, do you think that'll give you an edge? You think that's something that you can use to be more successful and gain financial freedom? I think it is. RC agrees. RC says, this seems quite cool. You're exactly right. And completely, completely effective, right? Ed, yes, good. We're all on the same page. You guys are seeing this. Eric says, yes, absolutely. All right, good. Here is the next set of indicators. Now, we've covered five predictive indicators. Now, we've got this gray candle. If you look on the right-hand corner of the screen, there's a gray candle. See, the software has the ability to also predict the next day's high and the next day's low for every stock and every market available in vantage point. Those are separate indicators calculated on their own neural network. Well, if you knew tomorrow's predicted high and predicted low, how could you use that? Right. Think about setting more effective stops. Think about setting more effective entries or targets. That's information that you can use almost every single time you trade. And you get that in the artificial intelligence in the vantage point software. When all of these indicators line up and they're all giving you the same story, you get total confirmation and you know how to use that to determine whether you're going long, whether you're going short, whether you're buying a call or selling a call. We'll leave the strategy up to you. The software is designed to tell you what the market is expected to do with an incredible amount of accuracy. And I'll show you some of those reports here in a second. I'm talking four-year studies, scientific white papers have been done on the software. We'll dig into the details, but let's go, let's go back to the software and let's add these indicators onto the software right now, okay? RC, that information is all included in price action, right? People are buying and selling, that is affected in the price action. Well, the software is using that end of day price action to generate the next three days of predictions. So it learns from that data. See, that's the thing about artificial intelligence. It's kind of like a baby and then a, a toddler and then you know a, a, a teenager that talks back and then a young adult, right? It learns and grows. And the more you feed the database, the more it learns and can use that information. The database that we've been using has been in effect and available since 1991. Think about that. That's that's nearly 30 years of learning and growing on market data. So RC, that's absolutely there for you. All right, so let's dig into the details. Let's add those indicators back onto the screen. Let me go put that crossover on. Here's the neural index, right? You guys can see that. Let's stop here and let's analyze some of this stuff really quickly. Let's go step by step. Remember, the first thing we were talking about is a crossover. So look on the left-hand side of the screen on October 9th. The question you have to ask yourself is, did the blue line go from below the black line to above it? And did the area change from red to green? Well, on October 9th, clear as day, you can see that's the case. That's where the AI said that this trend was expected to go up. All right, that's step one. It's kind of like this, guys. Think about it like this. If you go to a doctor and the doctor says, hey, we got to operate. You don't just jump on the table, let them operate, right? You go to the next doctor, see if that doctor agrees. Maybe it's a specialist. If they agree, well, you're more apt to have surgery. Well, if you go to a third and fourth doctor and they all tell you the same thing, you're pretty confident it's time to have that surgery, right? Hopefully that's not the case for anybody, but you get my point. That's how we're using these indicators to get extra confidence, confirmation, all right? We'll get, we'll get there, Jim. I'll get to that gray candle. You'll get it at 6.30 at night for the next trading day every day. All right, so first of all, we got the blue line crossing above. We got the neural index agreeing, saying this trend is expected to go up over the next three days. And you could take a look at that. It actually only took one day, but it definitely went up in this case. So those indicators agreed. And then when the blue line crosses below, follow that dotted line right here on 11.15. The blue line went from above below. That's where the software said Phillips 66 is expected to start going down. The neural index agreed, right? Very easy to interpret here, guys. Blue line, below, red. Two of those indicators agree. Well, let's go add those other predictive differences on here, all right? So now when those predicted differences appear on the chart, if we go back to October 9th, with that blue line crossed above and the neural index was green, we would want those predictive differences on the left side of that dotted line to be angled up. Why? Well, if they're angled up, that's telling you that momentum is moving into Phillips 66 over the next one, two, and three days. Well, that's three individual predictive indicators calculated on their own neural network, completely independent, all based on that global market analysis. So now we have five of these indicators telling us that this trend is expected to go up, there's strength, and there's momentum. 
And then when they shift and reverse right here on this day, we want to see the opposite on 1115. For those of you that are getting or taking notes, I'm sure you're getting this blue line below, neural index red. I want those predictive differences pointing down for a bearish information, for a bearish trend or a bearish move prediction, right? So let's I, let's 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 highlight these, right? This is a great stock to do options on. We got a lot of options traders in this lesson. So if we went from crossover to crossover right here, you can see how the underlying asset moved about 15%. Five contracts of that generates about $7,000 in gross profits. You can see that. Those gains are there. It's easy to see. But more importantly, for those of you that have exit problems, right here on 11.15, you can see that the software indicated this trend was expected to reverse. If you're an options trader, you can strike early. If you buy the underlying asset, then obviously that's a great opportunity to close that position because the software is saying this trend is expected to start going down. So now it's simple. It's it's wash, rinse, repeat, right? You go crossover to crossover. Once all those indicators agree, you can see we've got two positions here that have generated about $10,000 in profits very easily, very simply using the artificial intelligence, right? That's $10,000 right there in two trends in just the last couple of months. Who wouldn't be happy making some trades like that on Philip 66, right? I know I would be. You can see that. You can see exactly what the artificial intelligence is doing. All right, let's keep this train moving. Let's go to the E-mini S&P 500. How many of you expected the E-mini to hit new highs almost every single day, right? Well, I can tell you the artificial intelligence, and you may not even trade the E-mini, but I want you to see something. You stock traders and you option traders out there, check this out. On 1014, the software was very clearly saying that this trend was expected to start going up. The neural index is green. The predictive differences are all pointing up. Everything in the software is saying this trend is expected to start going back up. And don't forget, it's just as accurate as predicting downtrends as uptrends. The software indicated when this thing was expected to reverse, so you could have protected yourself back here at the end of September and not taken that 100-point drawdown or whatever it was at that point if you were using this predictive information. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about this trend that's going on right now. The blue lines above the neural, all the way up to the closing bell today, you can see that this trend is up. For you futures traders, five contracts generates $57,000 in profits very easily. For those of you that don't trade futures, right? You just interpreted a futures contract, a future market, and you understand how to trade it using artificial intelligence in what? A minute? How long did it take you to realize that the blue line crossed above, the neural index was green, and those predictive differences all agreed right there, right? And if we follow that, as long as that blue line stays above that line and the area is green, you can continue holding that position. Let's talk about this right here. I'm sure some of you were pointing that out in your head saying, hey, but Daniel, it went below. Absolutely. Don't forget about the confirmation points. On 12-4, the blue line crossed below. You can see it clear as day. One doctor said surgery time. You look down at the neural index. Did that second doctor agree? Nope. Right? You can continue to hold that position. Even the next day when that blue line is still below and that area is red between those lines, does the second doctor agree? Nope. Very easily, you can see that confirmation is key to the success. And when you put those indicators together, this is one position. Heck, even if we back this down from five contracts and say you traded one contract, one contract of the E-mini is what, seven, 7,000 in margin? That's an $11,000 profit in one trade and one trend very easily, okay? Now, look on the right-hand side of the chart. Somebody was asking about the gray bar. You get this gray bar every single day in the software for every market that's forecasted in the software, right? So when you see that gray bar, this is where Vantage Point says that this market is expected to go the next trading day up to 32.04 and down to 31.81. Well, how do we use that? Well, here we go. Look, if you're in this long position and you're making money and you're up $11,000, you want to set a stop loss somewhere below that predicted low, depending on your risk depending on your strategies, right? You don't have to change your strategy or change the way you trade. This is about getting more intelligent information so you can make more intelligent decisions. If you do get stopped out of that position, that's a tremendous profit that you were able to pick up by using the artificial intelligence. Now, let me show you how accurate this is as well, because people always ask that question and say, hey, Daniel, how accurate is that predicted high and predicted low? 
Well, I'm just going to hit one key on the keyboard and show you. I'm going to put the two lines on the chart. There's a red line and a black line on the chart. I put it over the actual candles. And you can see that those candles fall inside of that trading range almost every single day. Imagine if you had that and you were able to trade with that day in and day out. And that's what we're talking about here with artificial intelligence. All right. All right. So let's go on to Neurocrin. Somebody asked for this bio as a biotech or pharma company. Let's analyze this for them. All right, here we go. Let's go all the way through this thing. On the left-hand side of the chart, the blue line crossed below. The neural index was red and everything agreed. Guys, it's, it's wash, rinse, repeat. You can see this. This is all end-of-day data. All end-of-day data. Somebody's asking about uh, real-time data or, or data during the day. It's end-of-day data. So at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, you pull the data in from a company called Traders Only. They collect all of the global data from around the world and they push it into the software because remember, it takes global data formatted so that the AI can read it. So if you just went crossover to crossover here, here's a crossover on 1011. Let's say you shorted this because obviously the software is saying this trend is expected to go down. Well, let's talk about the kind of gains you would have picked up. 8%, almost $4,000 right there with five contracts or so, right? Blue line crossed above, the neural index is green. All those lines agree. So we can simply go crossover to crossover, guys. You don't have to overthink it. You can reduce the emotion that's going into your entries, reduce the emotion that's going into your exits, right? Capture more of the trend and make more profit. Work your way to that real financial freedom that, that's, uh, that's eluding you at the moment by using artificial intelligence, right? Yes, there's a lot of day traders. Somebody's asking about whether or not this works for day traders. Absolutely, RC, think about it like this. If you know the trend is expected to go up and there's strength moving into that market and momentum is moving in, and you have the next day's predicted high and low, could you use that for day trading? I'll leave that up to you. But here in this one trend, you can see that this is up almost 30%, another $13,000 in profit. And then the software catches the reversal right here on 12.9 indicating, you know what? This thing is about to start going down. Well, whether you write covered calls, whether you buy puts, whether you sell calls, doesn't matter what you do here. You could just play the short side of this stock and you can see that in the last, what is this, about 10 trading days or so, this stock has gone down generating even more profit. So altogether, guys, we're talking about what? 17, $18,000 in profits with 500 shares on this stock alone, right? So far, I think we're, I want to say we're over seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars in just the three the three uh, charts we've looked at: Phillips sixty-six, the S and P five hundred, uh, and Neurocrin Bioscience. Right? Let's keep on rolling. LV Sands. Man, I should I should ask you guys to analyze this one. Take a look at the right hand side of the chart. You can look at the whole chart and, and analyze it all you want, but you can see the blue line crossed above. The neural index was green. And all those predictive differences agreed. So we're just talking about from that crossover to the closing bell today, right here on this chart, what do we got? Oh, almost 10%. Another almost $3,000 in profit. Whoever asked for LV Sands or Las Vegas Sands, you can see that it caught that big uptrend. I don't know if you were able to catch that. I hope you did, but usually not, unfortunately, unless you're using something like vantage point with artificial intelligence and there's nothing in the world that does this analysis but you can see the blue line is way above the black line now the neural index has turned red and two of those predictive differences are pointing down indicating hey there's some weakness here momentum is starting to leave lvs the predicted high is higher than today the predicted low is higher than today or lower than today saying you know what this thing looks like it's going to go sideways that is valuable information you can use okay next one boeing let's see let's see what oh geez okay no wonder you were asking for boeing uh the blue line crossed below here on 11 29 the neural index was red and those predictive differences were pointing down very easily in a matter of what what did that take five seconds to, to identify that this trend was expected to go down and this thing is to oh wow look at this guys this thing is down 11 percent let's say you just had uh 100 shares one contract four thousand dollars in profits to the short side on boeing on top of this great trend right here right again we'll do another just 100 shares we'll keep it conservative we'll keep it smart here we go there's another what 21 2200 in profits and guys look i'm just going back over the last three months and i opened these charts based on what you wanted to see and you can see there's tremendous 
tremendous profits here, guys. At the end of the day, the goal here is for you to see how the artificial intelligence can give you better information that you're getting today so you can make better trading decisions. Fix your exit timing, fix your entry timings, put you in a position to be more successful. Kind of like these guys, look at this. You're gonna love this. We want you to be like these guys. Look at Billy. Billy says, if you're patient and you trust the indicators within vantage point to make smart trades, you will be successful and make money. Billy says, my advice to traders would be to buy vantage point. He says, you will make money. That's, <laughs> that's Billy's words, right? Alfred, 90 years old, five days. He said his profit was $6,452. Why? The training is the best. It gives me information in an easy to understand way. And the charts are presented in as good as form as I've seen. I'm sure you would agree with Alfred, even at 90, that this is his secret weapon, which is what he told us, right? Uh, it's end of day data, Kent. End of day data. That's what we're talking about here. That's the best interval. That's the only interval available in the software because remember, it's forecasting up to three days in the future. That means you don't need to look at, you don't need to be tied to your computer all day long. If you are and you, day, and you fully trade full time, great, do it. It's just not a requirement to use the artificial intelligence. All right, Kent, good. We're on the same page. Now, people are asking about the how to get started with that. We're going to put a link in the chat box here in just a second so you can get started with the software. But I've got a special a special webinar for everybody, for everybody that's in this room has spent the next hour with me learning about this. We put something together special for you guys here at Vantage Point. Let me show you what it is. All right, we're going to give you the access to get Vantage Point for one full year. You can have all of the artificial intelligence I just ran through for an entire year, okay? You're also going to get access to every asset available in the software for the first three weeks because what we want you to do is, is play around in the software, figure out which asset or which sector you want to stay with and keep for that year. We are going to give you full access to a sector. Now, write this down, technology. That is a sector that you know our, our traders and users love the most, has a lot of market movers, a lot of volatility, a lot of optionable stocks. That's, that's always my first recommendation. My second one would be services. Those are sectors that are very key to your success, so you have some diversity. But we're going to give you access to one of those sectors at the end of three weeks. You say, you know what? This is the sector I want to keep. Or maybe you like the ES and you want to keep the ES, or maybe you like the Euro US dollar. You'll get to keep one of those, right, for the entire year. We're also going to give you a rapid results quick start guide so you can get up and running in a matter of minutes, because that's really the goal here. And uh, so Ed, you're asking about the training. There's a couple of different ways we give you training. Number one is the online learning portal. We have a, a, le a learning portal that is password protected where you can get 20 on-demand modules, resources. You can even get bi market, excuse me, bi-weekly market updates in this in this learning portal. And you can train 24 hours a day if you want to, depending on what you want to do. But as an organization, we know it's important that you understand how to maximize this software so we don't stop there. We also include a software coach, a relationship account manager, somebody that's dedicated to helping you understand how to use the software and learn the software. We, we literally give you six months of one-on-one -on -one training if you need it so that you can interpret the software. I doubt you'll need it. We spent less than an hour together and you already understand how to use the indicators, but we want to be there with you every step of the way. So again, you can, let's, let's call it maximize your upside potential and minimize your downside risk. Who doesn't want to do that, right? That's like, look at this guy, Sam. I, I love telling you about users of the software because it's just remarkable. Sam came to us after he had spent $15,000 on some other program that you can see in his word, his words, the software that wasn't working. So he's a little skeptical. He didn't want to spend 4,000 or invest 4,000 in vantage point, right? But he did. And look what he says at the bottom of the screen. He says, I started trading vantage point with real money six months ago and my account has tripled right think about that tripled his account in six months who wouldn't want to do that that's something you want to do and you want to talk about this more you can either order through that link we're putting in the chat box or just put your phone number into the questions box and we'll give you a call when i'm done talking and talk to you about the next steps because the key here is that that you you get access to this information as quickly as you can and you can use this to generate predictions that you can use tomorrow, that you can use this week, okay? All right, so here's the here's the packaging. Here's what we put together for everybody because a lot of people are asking about the price and all this information. Scott, if we have time at the end, we'll take a look at that or you can put your phone number in and we'll have somebody pull that up for you and go through it on FedEx, okay, Scott? All right, so here's what we got. 
you're going to get that software license for one sector. That's normally 2,900. All right. You're going to get access to the on online training portal, normally 995, as well as a quick start guide. So you can get up and running in minutes. That's 495. We're going to give everybody in this call, in this webinar, that six months of unlimited one on one support. That's normally $1,295. And you heard what Sam said. He was a little skeptical to invest 4000 but he did. The package that I put together for everybody comes to $5,685. If you're on this webinar right now and you're in this room right now and you can see how this artificial intelligence can help you, we're making it available for everybody for that one year for $997. 997 is all it takes. You can put your phone number in and get started with that. If you put your phone number in, we'll give you a call and we'll walk you through the steps and help you get set up with that 997. If you want to use that order link that's in the chat box, you can use that as well. David, I've got your phone number. Thank you very much. Eric, uh, it looks like your phone number might be missing a digit. Guys, go ahead and use the questions box or the chat box to put in your phone number because this is a, a savings of over $4,600. Why? because you spent the last hour with me and we are celebrating our 40 anniversary, our 40 year anniversary this year, 40 years helping traders like you be more successful. Uh, if you have got your phone number, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Cheryl, I've got your phone number. Thank you guys. Use that questions box, put in that phone number so that we can give you a call and walk you through the next steps and answer your questions you might have. Make sure you understand what's involved in using and getting started with Vantage Point, okay? Yes, it is. It is installed on your computer, Robert. You put it in a Windows site, a Windows computer. You install it right on your computer and we can help you do that. Don, I've got your phone number. Thank you. Dolly, I've got your phone number. I appreciate that. Ed, if you want the S&P 500, go ahead and put your phone number in and we can walk you through how you can add that to your package. Remember, what we're doing for everybody is giving you that one sector, that one market for the entire year for just $9.97. Evelyn, I've got your phone number. If you want more than one market, then let us know that. Put your phone number in, and when we call you, tell us that you want multiple markets and you want access to more information. Uh, yes, it is. You can still work with Thinkorswim. That's the great thing about this software is that it's broker agnostic, right? You can use whatever broker you want. It's not executing your trades for you. You're still executing your trades in your broker, just like you do today. I mean, think about that. We're not a broker. We're not a money manager. Um, matter of fact, personally, I think that's a conflict of interest, right? Why would you get information about what the market is doing from the same people you're paying management fees or that are housing your money? Just doesn't make sense, right? So keep using the broker you have today. Don, I've got your phone number. Yes, Ivy, it is Windows only. Ed, I've got your phone number. Thank you very much. Now, remember, everybody, the data comes from a company called Traders Only. Traders Only provides all of that data for you. You pay them 35 bucks a month for the data. It's like a dollar a day. Um, less than a cup of coffee. I mean, a lot of people say it's like the gas for the car, but you pay that directly to that organization called Traders Only and we'll connect you with them. Uh, Sue, I've got your phone number. Same thing with Moses. I have yours as well. Uh, Moses, you're asking about permanent access. Oh, like lifetime membership. Yes, you can buy a lifetime package that is available for you as well. You can get more than one sector. I love personally, I don't do a lot of subscriptions. I like to buy it and own it and have it. When you put your phone number in, if you're interested in uh, lifetime, uh, we're gonna, uh, Ed, we're gonna give you a call here as soon as I'm done talking, right? I've got people here that are available to call you and start talking right now so that we can get you started because we don't want you to wait. We wanna get you to the software first thing in the morning so you can get access to this. So make sure you put in the phone number that we can get you on right now. Exxon, I've got your information, thank you. If you want a lifetime package instead of subscription, just tell us that, just put it in your, you can even put it in the chat box next to your phone number and say lifetime. There's 14 US stock sectors. There's 74 futures markets, right? There's 35 Forex pairs. All If you just need more information, Kent, put your phone number and we'll call you and answer your questions. It doesn't commit you to anything. It gives you the ability to get one-on-one -on -one with an expert on my team that can answer the questions you have. We wanna make this as easy for you as possible, all right? Let me make it, let me make it even easier. For everybody that's on this call, I told you we'd give you that year for 997. Here's an ironclad profit guarantee. If you don't have the potential to make 10 times your investment, that 997 over the next year, we will give you another year of vantage point absolutely free. This way it reduces that barrier to entry, should make it a very, very easy decision. For those of you that might want help installing it, we have concierge treatment where we will do an installation We'll do system enhancements if you want. We'll give you an individualized navigational tutorial and a walkthrough. 
We call that concierge treatment. That's normally $295, but if you want to get started right now, I'm going to give you a fast action bonus. Make that available at no charge. Just write fast action next to your phone number so that we know that you want that installation help because we want to be here every step of the way. Not only do we want to provide you the software that can really change your life, but we want to give you the assistance to get it installed and train you on how to use it to maximize how it works for you. Just put fast action in the comment box so we know that you want that installation help because at the end of the day, getting the software on your computer and getting it up and running is key to your success and we can be there every step of the way. If you want a lifetime package, put in your phone number and let us walk you through what's involved in that because the lifetime package gives you the ability to even get even more sectors. If you want more sectors, tell us that too. I, as a matter of fact, let me do this on the spot. I wasn't planning on do this, but for anybody that gets a lifetime package right now on today's webinar live, today is, is Tuesday the 17th, I'll give you a lifetime package at 30% off the list price. We just got to figure out how many sectors or how many markets you might want. So put in your phone number and we can walk that through for you. For those of you that just want the, the annual subscription, here it is again. Here's the package that you can get for $9.97 and you get all of those indicators and that artificial intelligence globe, doing that global market analysis, right? Now I've got one more thing for everybody. I promise you that one stock that we expect to make the biggest move here we go. Take a look at your screen. I'm going to go, I'm going to pull up that stock right now. If you're not already looking at your screen, you're going to want to see this. Here we go. I'm pulling it up as Briggs and Stratton. If you look at this screen right now, you'll see Briggs and Stratton is up on the screen and you can see there's been tremendous profits in BGG. But if you look right here on 1212, the software indicated that this trend was expected to go up. The neural index was green. And look at that. Boom. Three days in a row, this thing has run up and we expect it to go more. That's the kind of information you want day in and day out. I know it. Plus, look at look at these other trends, guys. If you had this information, if you knew about this stock over the last three months, there's 32% profits to the upside. Vantage Point indicated the reversal and, and made it possible for you to pick up what? Uh, here's another 30% to the downside. And in just the last few trading days, from that crossover to the closing bell today, look at this. It's up almost 10%. That's 70% profit in three trades. If that's not information that you can use, and then I don't know what is, guys. Think about it. You're looking at it. You're seeing what the, what the users of the software say. Let me, let me show you something else. I promised you some of those reports from major publications. This, if you go out and you say you can forecast with over 80% accuracy, you can bet people are going to test you, right? Traders World, Traders Magazine, Stocks and Commodities, Your Trading Edge, Market Technicians Association. Heck, those guys write the rules to be CMTs, right? They put the software through the ringer. They've tested this not for a week, not for two weeks. They tested it for four years. Look, this is a four-year study I'm putting on your screen right now. And I'm just going to scroll through this so you can see what the what the study did. We're talking four years, right? Aifi, yes, there's a lot of options player, uh, a lot of options traders that use this to answer your questions. So yes, if you know what the underlying asset is expected to do with over 80% accuracy, just imagine what that could do for your options, right? Here we go. There's a software we were looking at. There's Vantage Point. I wanted to show you that before I read you what this review says. Here's the accuracy they found over four years, 82%, 80%. Rook, Steel Dynamics, almost 81%. I'm just, I can scroll through these. You can see 82 on share price, E-mini at 80%, Light Sweet Crude Oil at 80%, guys. Treasury Bonds, 80%. If you could be right eight out of 10 times, what could that do for your trading? If you could be accurate about the trend direction eight out of 10 times, think about the positive impact that would have on your trading, your life, your results, heck, your retirement. And that's what we're here to do is empower traders daily. Here's the review. Look, Terry Wooten is a former managing editor for Dow Jones Newswire, editor-in-chief for Futures World News and London editor for Futures Magazine. He says, an intelligent trader or investor should have no problem recouping the software quickly highly recommend guys if you haven't put your phone number in by all means please use that questions box to put it in carl i've got your phone number thank you very much jeff i've got your phone number you think about that i told you through this entire presentation through this entire class to ask yourself that one question is does this make sense well, it does right 
if we're trading in global economy, don't you need a tool that's doing global market analysis? Yeah, that makes sense. If that information could then predict with 80% accuracy, all the way up to 86% accuracy, does that make sense? Could that help you be more successful? Yes. Heck, if I'm even half right, which I am, but if I'm even half right, does it make sense to start using artificial intelligence right now? Absolutely it does. And I'm glad that I'm the one that's giving you the opportunity to get started. Philip, I've got your phone number. Thank you very much. Chris, if you want to talk about uh, VP10 a little bit more, by all means, put your phone number in. We'll give you a call and, and talk to you about your software as well. Guys, our goal here is to empower traders. I think I've done that, not only by giving you a package that's designed to reduce any barrier to entry and give you the ability to get started with Vantage Point right away, but also give you the training and the support so that you can be more successful. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity not only to enlighten you, but give you the chance to be more successful and achieve what you meant to what you meant to achieve with your trading. Get out there, trade, make money, be successful. I appreciate your time, guys. I'm going to leave the room open for a few minutes. There's a lot of phone numbers still rolling in. And just remember, putting in your phone number doesn't commit you to anything. It commits you to one thing, answering the phone when we call. So answer the phone. We'll answer your questions. We'll take you through the information if you need to. Whatever it is that you want to do so that we can help you see how valuable this is, we're willing to do if you give us the opportunity to. And, and you've given me the opportunity to show this to you and teach you how you can use this, and I thank you for that. And I like to have you as part of the Vantage Point family. So I'm going to leave it here. I'll leave the room open, but I'm going to get off the mic. Thank you for your time, and good luck with your trading.
For those still left in the room, this is Daniel's associate, Mike. I just wanted to let you know, as he said, if you have any questions, just enter your phone number and we'll have a Vantage Point AI expert reach out to you. We will be closing the room shortly, but once again, thank you for being here. We deeply appreciate it. And if there was a market forecast you didn't get to see that you did want to see, please just put that phone number in the questions box and we'll have one of our Vantage Point AI experts reach out to you and go over that stock, Forex, future commodity, whatever you wanted to see that you did not get to see tonight, please just put that phone number in and we'll reach out to you. Thanks again for being here and have a great evening.